Yo, what's up? Today I rank every single boss in Tesla Grad 2. We only have 7 of those, so don't worry, it's a midnight snack. This is a puzzle game, so you won't overpower your enemies, but you'll find creative basic ways to beat them. Anyways, let's get it. Number 7, Golem. You've gotta smash the golem, but the problem is when you don't understand his hitbox like I didn't. You're not supposed to hit him on the head, you're supposed to hit the ground close to him in order to deal him damage, but even that might be hard in the beginning, all this considered, he's still the easiest. Number 6, Fafnir, the snake that's been enslaved for years in order to generate gold for the kingdom. Only thing you do is slide around the arena and smash him in the back of his head. He spits poison and tries hitting you with his tail, but even though it's more than the golem, it's still easy to dodge and bonk bro in the head. Number 5, Holder. The second thing you run from that eventually becomes your friend. Because why wouldn't it, you know? All you gotta do is throw box at her, which might be hard and if you miss it, stuff gets hard, which compared to number 4, Half Ton, is still easier. The thing is, Half Ton has more range from the fire he spits, and if you miss the smash, he can quickly kick you, which happened to me once. But other than that, this is easier than the golem because smashing this guy goes right in the head. Overall, this is easier in some things, but harder in specific things. I would overall say he's harder, but not by much. Number 3, the first Drog. The deer was a pain in the butt in my first playthrough. He goes around pushing you around, but you can dodge that easily. Then he gets the zombies, which you gotta blow in order to deal damage to the Drog. But for that, you gotta time the explosions precisely, since you still don't have the axe. Anyways, the axe would definitely deal damage to the deer directly. Then, if the deer pushes you over to the zombies, that's good riddance. And even if you time the explosions, you might be cornered and you'll take the explosion damage. So there's a bunch to keep account while fighting the deer, but good luck. Number 2, Galvan. The king has been trying to get the queen back to life by using your body as a host for the queen. He jumps around the balls and summons zombies to the field, which in the footage didn't happen. Guess he was domesticated after the first fight. All you gotta do is zip through the lines and throw your axe at him, then you gotta slide around and smash bro, which I've missed. Cringe. Then bro brings number one Queen Eleanor back to life. But you know, after everything he's done and the fact that the queen didn't like the undead, she's mad and throws bro out the castle and shows her powers. As a concept it's easy but executing it is hard. Since you gotta jump around and use the gravity things, it can get pretty stressful at times. You can already imagine how many times I've said this game sucks. And a lot of things my lawyer advised me not to share. That's it for today, if you disagree with anything let me know and tell me what you think about the game. See ya!